The end of the 15th century was marked by the age of exploration, during which Spain, Portugal, England, France, and Denmark deployed sailing fleets to take possession of the Caribbean islands, or what the Europeans referred to as the New World. Spain was first to reach the area when Christopher Columbus accidentally came upon the islands rather than his intended destination, the Orient. The Catholic monarchy of Spain had two goals in mind for sponsoring Columbus's venture, the accumulation of riches and the expansion of Christianity. When spices and gold couldn't be found in sufficient quantities, Spain's original plan was abandoned and replaced with a plantation system where riches could be grown and then exported to Europe. The plantations were dependent on the forced labor of West Africans and produced valuable commodities, primarily tobacco and sugar, which couldn't be grown back home. Throughout Europe, sugar was high in demand, but low in supply. To meet the need, colonists cleared rainforests and planted sugarcane, which thrived in the warm and rainy climate. Felled timber was used to fire boiling pots in a process that extracted the sweet juice from the fibrous reed. The byproduct of sugar production, molasses, was fermented to produce rum, which in turn was used as currency to purchase more Africans. These and other activities led to the near complete transformation of the native peoples, plants, animals, and landscape. After more than five centuries since the first Europeans reached the New World, a new explorer is having an impact on the Caribbean. Explorers seeking a rich colonial history and an imagined paradise.